Hai, hai yang baru join Saya Madam Mazia dan anda bertemu lagi dengan saya Dekat topik number 4 uh, Part 2 K-Map Alright, kind of map So dalam topik ini kita akan belajar about tiga perkara penting Yang pertama ialah how to do the simplification of building expression Using kind of map method Number 2 we will learn about combinational circuit design in K-Map and number three, we will you uh, understand about X in KMAP. Alright? So, this is all that we're going to learn in topic number four, part two. Alright? So, kita tengok dulu yang pertama. Okay, please always refer to you punya nota. Alright? Uh, topic number four. And for this, uh, simplify Boolean expression adalah dekat page number 30. Alright, number 30. Alright. So this is number 31, 30, 30 started in 30, page number 30, page number 31. How we do the simplification of Boolean expression? Example, this one of example. Alright, boleh beda padam kat sini. Okey, boleh? Alright, nampak dengan jelas? Alright, boleh ya? Eh? Alright, so one of the example dekat page number 31 adalah Y equal to not B, not A, B Or can dengan C Or can dengan A, B, not C So we got this building expression And how we use this one to simplify using KMAP uh, We have building expression and then we have to place all the digit Alright, logic inside the K-map. Alright, so first of all, pertama kita akan tengok dulu, this building expression adalah based on how many input. Alright, we have A, B and C here. Alright, A, B and C means that dia punya input adalah three input. Pertama adalah we have to identify input. Alright, here we have A, B, C. Alright, jelas. A, B, C means that we uh, have total three input. Alright, so three input, three inputs here one, two, three, A, B, C. So total three. So three input here equal to true kuasa three adalah lapan number of cell. Ingat lagi. Alright, this is how we simplify using three variable. Alright, so total lah eight number of cell. So kita lukis number two adalah draw. Okay, map. Alright, so draw K-map Kita lukis sini Mesti 8 number of cell Sebab dia ialah A, B, C So kita lukis Alright, 8, 1 2, 3, 4 Darab 2, total adalah 8 Kita susun ikut yang madam ajar Here adalah For C, this one for A, B So here adalah not A Not B, not A, B Ini kena hafal A, B, ini A, not B Alright, this one not C, this one C Alright, remember kita punya nombor Alright, nombor kat sini lah This one for 0 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Nak tak nak, you kena hafal Alright, boleh? Jelas kat sini Alright, now Kita place this one Inside this K-Map Alright, jelas? Bagaimana kita nak place? Alright, pertama adalah Kita ingat this one lah kita dah group Alright This one ialah view that group. Kita nak groupkan lagi sekali supaya kita make, kita dapatkan yang lagi simplified. Alright? So now, from here, we can see, alright, so equation ialah not A, B plus C plus A, B, not C. Alright, this number 1, this number 2, this number 3. Kita make it dalam bentuk number. Alright, not A, B. Mana not A, B here? Uh, not A, B, remember, yang missing, okay, why? Saya letakkan sini balik. Not A, B plus C plus A, B, C Not C Alright So this is equation kita nak place here Alright, now from here Alright We know that this one lah not A, B This number 1 This number 2 This number 3 This not A, B Which one is missing? This one yang missing lah C betul Yang missing lah not A, B And we have not C plus C Alright, remember this one become 1 Alright So this one not A, B So Kat mana kat sini kita letak Alright We have not A, B So ini Ingat lagi So satu Satu 
Kenapa macam ini? Sebab kita boleh groupkan ini sebab this one kita boleh pangkah. Alright, so it become not A, B sahaja. Alright, this number one settle. So, we have another one. C sahaja. C means what? C means that which missing adalah apa? Missing lah. A, B missing. Betul? So, here we can see from here. A, B semua kita dah masuk. So, C lah here. Alright? So, this is this one. This number two. This is number one tadi. This is number two. Alright? Macam ini. Alright, yang asal ni begini. Alright? This number one. This number two. Alright? Okay. How about number C? Number uh, three. Three adalah A, B, not C. This one adalah we call as one only. A, B. Which one ialah A, B? A, B and not C. Here. Alright? This is number three. Alright. Tips here adalah you have to draw by your own. You buat sendiri then you will know. Alright, you will understand much better. Kalau you follow, mungkin you tak faham lagi. You have to play, play again until you betul-betul jelas. Boleh? Alright, cara yang paling berkesan adalah buat. Buat dekat kertas sendiri dan you will see that you betul-betul faham. Alright, here kita dapat this one. Okay, this one belum lagi ya. Eh? Belum lagi selesai because Madam dah madam dah conteng tadi. So, it got difficult untuk you faham. So, again Madam, uh, kau balik. Alright. We got this build an expression and then we define berapa number of inputs. Here we have 3 so it's 2 to 1 time 3 equal to 8 number of cell. Then we draw K-map. Kita ingat kita hafal. Then from here kita convert ataupun kita translate. Letakkan digit 1 dalam K-map. Or using reverse method sebelum ini. Alright. So now we got this one. This one is not yet simplified. We have to do another one yang lagi simplify. Alright. We draw lagi sekali kat sini. Alright, this one yang we dapat Kita dapat this one Alright, so this saya lukis kat sini okay. Jelas? Boleh? Kita tak nampak? Okay, tak apa kan? Nampak kan? So here we have this one Alright So this one again, not A, not B Not A, B This one A, B This one A, not B This one nak tak nak kena hafal Alright, draw lagi sekali Ataupun letak nombor tadi Satu, satu Satu, 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 satu Alright So this is actually yang kita dapat from here tadi Kita convert sini Alright So kenapa Mada nak buat belum selesai lagi Alright So number one tadi under different input Number two draw camera Number three adalah uh, Fill up In camera uh, Masukkan dalam camera tadi kita dah buat Number four Alright Kita kena groupkan lagi sekali Group again Nampak tak ini? Group again. Group kenapa group? Sebab kita nak dapat yang more simplified. Alright, now from here. Alright, ingat lagi teknik untuk group because this one adalah 8 number of cell. So, cara teknik dia adalah kita kena ambil 8, 4, 2 and 1. Alright, jelas? 8 kat sini ada tak semua 8? Tiada. Ada tak 4? Ada. So, macam mana 4? Ini 4. Ini juga 4. Alright, so ada lagi tak yang tertinggal? No, we already groupkan dia Alright, kita dah groupkan ke semuanya Alright, so we have 1 and 2 here So Y equal to 1 plus 2 1 adalah here, C 2 adalah kat mana ini? Ini kita potong, ini pun kita potong, we have B So the answer adalah B plus C So this is the answer Alright, so you can compare from here We have this one Sebelum ini kita punya equation lah Y equal to not AB plus C plus AB not C Alright, you can see From sebelum ini, this is our equation Now, final equation become this one Alright, so which one you think? Alright, which one more simplify? Of course, yang final adalah more simplify Sebab kita groupkan lagi sekali Dan kita dapatkan yang lagi simplify What is the reason we need for simplification logic circuit? Of course, you can see from here Alright, here how many input we need Alright, we need A, B, C, 3 input We need more, kita panggil apa logic circuit, combination logic circuit We need AND gate here, we need all here, all here and AND gate How many gates we require here? 1, 2, 3 total Here we need only 1 Alright, that is more simplified, more cheaper cost 
more easy to do, 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 do the production and so on. So that is why we need simplifi simplification punya logic circuit. Alright, okay? Dapat sesuatu kat situ? Alright, that is example number one. Alright, so please, alright, buat example number two. Alright, example number two you boleh buat sendiri boleh? Okay, tak apa. Alright, kita nak tengok seterusnya adalah combinational circuit design example. Alright, number two adalah combinational circuit design example. Alright. Okay, so bagaimana? Alright, so sebenarnya combinational circuit design example ini kita akan tengok very... Uh, kita akan buat latihan tutorial lah senang Sebab apa combination circuit design ini adalah from gabungan Sebelum ini kita dah belajar Alright Kita dah belajar uh, bagaimana nak uh, solve the problem Alright we got the problem And then we made the truth table from the problem given Yang lagi From the problem given Hari tu Madam buat example Kita nak letakkan sensor dekat uh, water level Alright, that is one of the problem. For that problem, kita define the truth table. Alright, kita dapatkan apa lagi? Kita dapat truth table, kita dapat logic circuit, kita dapat Boolean expression, kita dapat SOP, POS, even kita boleh dapat NAND ataupun NOR punya application. Alright, tetapi, alright, ada lagi sambungan daripada ini adalah we can, there is a question we'll ask you guys. Bagaimana from this problem given We got a truth table From the truth table ini Kita boleh terus uh, Dapatkan kind of map Alright Kind of map Alright Daripada kind of map Kita boleh groupkan And get the simplification Instead, instead of using uh, Method uh, Yang sebelum ini Kita belajar Bagaimana merupakan Proven by Algebra Theorem de Morgan And so on We can easily use Kind of map To do the simplification Sebab kind of map ini Lagi senang Lagi simple Because everything Only based on This gambar raja Atau this scale map Punya diagram So very easy Alright So now We look at number 2 Kita akan buat uh, Selepas ini Hopefully Kita akan buat Satu case study dan kita akan buat based on that case study kita come out dengan akan of map. Alright. So now seterusnya kita tengok adalah alright. Uh, this example kalau tengok dekat okay page number 38 alright that is how sebab mereka tak nak sentuh this one. Alright sebab ini adalah lebih kepada one of the solution lah for kind of map to solve the combinational punya circuit. Alright. So now we look at on Uh, expression X in kind of map Apa itu X? X adalah don't care Right So now Kita tengok this one Boleh? Bila buang ini Alright Expression X in kind map Ataupun we call as X In kind map Alright X ini adalah don't care Don't care means that tak kisah. It can be one or it can be zero. Alright. X here it can be zero or one. Alright. So we use X in kind of map. Alright. So dalam case ini. Alright. So for example. Alright. Uh, Madam uh, follow the example page number 43. Page 43. Okay. This is a truth table. Alright. We have A, B. This is for uh, four variable C, D. Boleh tak macam ini? Okay, kita kena buat kecilkan sikit We have Y Alright So 0, 0, 0, 0 Semua total For 4 variable Dah 16 You kena hafal Alright This is another egg Kita belum complete lagi This another egg Sudah Jadi jap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Allah Tak muat Tak muat Sekejap ya eh. Allah Akbar Macam mana ni Tak muat ni okay. Boleh Saya panam semua Okay Okay So this adalah X expression Nampak ya eh? Expression In K map Alright Example Page number 
43. Okay. So we have A, B, C, D. And then we have Y. Okay, make it small. All right, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have another half. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Alright. 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Alright, so total of 60. Alright, so now follow from page number 43. So we give the output here as this one as 0. Okay. So now 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Alright. 0, 1. Ada berapa 0, 1? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Correct? So, semua adalah X. Nampak? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Correct. Alright, this is the truth table. Example given by page number 43. Alright, bagaimana kita letakkan this. Uh, represent this truth table dalam bentuk kind of map. Alright, jom kita buat. Alright, this is uh, variable 4. Alright, it means that total uh, number of cell adalah 16. Remember? Alright, jom kita buat. This one you have to hafal. Alright, so sebab yang colour biru boleh. Boleh? Nampak? Ha? We have 16. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, correct? So we have here lah. Ingat, this one you have to hafal. This one not A, not B. This one not A, B. This one A, B. This one A, not B. This one not C, not D. This not C, D. C, not C, D. C, not D. Alright, so remember this one. Kita ingat dari segi bentuk, uh, kita panggil apa? Petak dia. So, this number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ada total 16 tetapi because start from 0, misi sampai 15. So, kita susun dalam sini. Uh, this number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nak tak nak, you kena hafal. Alright, so kita place the output inside kanaf map. Alright, so bagaimana? Alright. Kita ada 0101 sampailah bit number berapa itu? Number 10, right? Alright, so kita dapat nombor 10. So, 0 lah 0, 1, 0, 1. Alright. So, 4 adalah 0, 5 adalah 1, 6 adalah 0, 7 adalah 1. Alright. Kemudian kita ada 8 adalah 0, 9 adalah 1. Alright. 10 semua adalah X. Ha, alright. Okay, so bagaimana kita nak solve this X expression in kind of map? Pertama, kita faham that X itu it can be 0, it can be 1. So, the first priority bila kita nak groupkan, alright, dalam ini, kita kena tengok satu dulu. Yang kedua baru kita tengok X. X hanya diperlukan sekiranya kita nak groupkan dengan satu. Remember, X alone we cannot group. Alright, so now, from here, alright, asas utama ataupun uh, rules yang pertama dan nak group adalah kita kena tengok. Uh, this is 16, 16 boleh group tak? Lepas 16 tak boleh kita tengok 8, tak boleh 8, 4, tak boleh 4, 2, tak boleh 2, 1. Alright, jelas kat sini. Alright, now tengok 16. Ada tak semua 1, 16? Tak ada, tak logik. 8 ada tak? Okay, jom kita tengok. Alright. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 je. Tetapi ingat, kita ada 1. Tapi ingat kenapa? Kita need X untuk groupkan sekali dengan 1. Sebab X, it can be 1 or 0. So, in this case, alright, in this case, alright, saya duduk kat sini. In this case, boleh? In this case, we have here, nampak? Ini adalah 8 total je. Nampak? This is number 1. Saya groupkan ini 1 dengan X. X ada 3, 1 ada 5. Alright, so ini kita boleh groupkan. Ada lagi tak yang satu tertinggal? Tak ada. 
Alright, semua ada kecuali X Alright, remember X ni Two group With one X alone Tak boleh Group Alright, so sekarang Kita perlukan X Untuk groupkan dengan satu We got this one Ada juga lagi tak ada satu tak ada Tetapi ada X Tetapi X alone we cannot group Alright, so now we got Y sama dengan berapa Alright, here Y sama dengan berapa You see from here Alright, ini kita boleh masuk So here adalah Kita boleh masuk yang ini So Y sama dengan D So that is the final answer for this equation Alright So instead of tadi kita dapat this one Kalau kita guna SOP OPUS Kita akan dapat equation panjang Belum lagi simplify if you use Boolean algebra dan juga Theorem de Morgan Masih panjang ceritanya Untuk kita simplify But by using kind of math very simple Very easy Alright that is how we need kind of math To do the simplification It's very very easy The only thing lah you kena faham konsep Kena faham teknik dia Alright again teknik dia tadi adalah Pertama bila nak group Kita kena groupkan ikut number dia 16 ada tak? 1 semuanya 8 ada tak? 4 tak ada? 2 tak ada? 1 Sekiranya ada So kita kena consider number of x Sebab x is can be 0 and 1 As it will require It will need Sekiranya nak groupkan dengan 1 X alone we cannot group Alright that's it from, from Madam Daripada part number 2 um, Kind of math So Madam harapkan you guys enjoy the class Dan sangat-sangat faham dengan apa yang Madam ajar You boleh ulang-ulang lagi Sampai betul-betul faham Dalam kelas kita nanti kita akan buat tutorial Alright kita akan buat tutorial berkaitan dengan Kind of math Alright itu sahaja daripada Madam Selamat maju jaya dan selamat belajar semuanya Okay bye Assalamualaikum